everyone. Today I wanted to go over one quick tool from Google's OR tools on how to do constraint programming. So we're gonna solve a problem using the, the OR tools in the constraint programming format. So our overall use case here is we're going to have the concept of uh, shipping some beans from suppliers to roasters and then to cafes. So to get started, we have a capacity for the suppliers. So a supplier has 150, supplier two has 50 beans, and supplier three can have up to 100 beans. It's gonna cost some money to go from suppliers to roasters. Uh, so this little guy here is mapping what it's costing between roaster one and roaster one and supplier one. It's gonna cost about five. From supplier one to roaster two, it's gonna be four, and so on and so forth for the sending the suppliers and supplier beans to the roasters. All right, well, once it gets to the roaster, it's gonna cost some money to roast these beans. So to roast light beans, it's gonna cost three at roaster one and five at roaster two. And for dark beans, it's gonna be five for roaster one and six for roaster two. And then it's gonna cost a little bit of money to ship it from the roaster to the cafe. So for roaster one to cafe one, it's gonna be five and so on and so forth, just like from the suppliers to the uh, roasters. But we also have a demand. so. On the light coffee for cafes, uh, so cafe one has a demand of 20 for the light, light beans, uh, coffee, cafe two has uh, 30, so on and so forth for the beans as well. So now we get to the fun part. Uh, the CP model is constraint programming model for, uh, this is where it's coming from the OR tools, and this is going to allow us to give it a couple variables that it can play with, as well as the constraints, and then it will go and solve the problem for us. So. The first variable that we're going to do is we're going to have a delivery variable. So it's going to allow this to allow the OR tool to adjust the delivery costs to find out which delivery or the amount being delivered to figure out which one is the best route for each individual supplier to the roasters. The next one's going to be the light variables. So this one's going to be figuring out where do I ship the light beans from to get to the cafe, the, the cheapest, as well as the dark beans? So the first expression we're gonna say here is, hey, we can't ship more than what we've gotten in. And so we're gonna say, use the expression that we're going to sum up the deliveries that we got from the supplier to the roaster. And if it's equal to the amount of beans getting shipped out from that roaster, so that's gonna be one of the constraints that we put on this uh, on this model. The next one is gonna be the supply. So we can't, we can't have the suppliers shipping more than the capacity they have. So another constraint here is gonna say, we can't be delivering more to the roasters than what the supplier has in its capacity. And then the last one here is uh, demand. So we wanna make sure that the demand to the cafes is equal to or greater than the demand needed. So we wanna make sure that we're shipping at least the amount of coffee beans for light and dark to the cafes than what we have in demand. So what are we gonna optimize for? Well, what we're gonna tell the model to optimize for is the overall cost. So we want to sum up the shipping costs from the supplier to the roasters. We also wanna sum up what the cost of roasting the light beans and the dark beans is gonna cost. And then we also wanna sum up the cost of the shipping for the light beans and the dark beans. And we want it to, so that's gonna be like the optimized constraint. And then we want that model to minimize that optimization. So we wanna, we're telling the model, hey, figure out the, given these constraints, figure out which one will give us the lowest overall cost. And to do that, we, from the CP model, we get a CP solver. So the CP solver is coming from the CP model uh, up here. So actually from the OR tools, it's not using the model itself. We then say solver.solve .solve and we pass it in the model. So we're, the model allows us to create the constraints. We then tell the solver to solve this model based off those constraints. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna print it out. So if it found the optimal solution, we're just gonna print out how much it costed us and then where it shipped all the things to and from. So if I were to run this piece of code here quick, we can actually see that it found an optimal solution. It's gonna cost us $2,400, 20, almost $2,500. And we can see where it delivered and pulled from. So it's saying here it delivered to the roaster from supplier one to roaster two. 
90 units uh, from roaster to so supplier two to roaster two 50 units supplier three to roaster one 90 units and I'm gonna just pull up a but I'm gonna pull up a quick graph but you can see that I was able to solve this problem and tell us which is the most optimal route with the most optimal uh, supply and so we can see where supplier one had a 50 units 150 units it's going to ship 90 of those down to roaster two supplier two had 50 units it's shipping those to roaster two and supplier three had 100 units and it's shipping 90 of them to roaster one then roaster one is going to take those and roast up some 20 20 light and ship it to cafe one and 20 dark to cafe one it's going to ship off 30 light and 20 dark to cafe two and then roaster two is going to send off 40 light and 100 dark and we can see that over here, these were the demands for those, and it was able to meet those demands. And we can see that the overall supply never never crossed over more than what the uh, supplier had in its uh, capacity. Pretty cool stuff. I think uh, having to write my own code to do this might have taken quite a bit of work. So it's cool to see the tools that are out there. Thanks for watching.